reflect and then translate. Reflect the object on y axis and then translate 3 units right and 1 down. So we are given an object here, let's name it as A, B, C, D. So that's a quadrilateral four sided figure. So we have named it A, B, C, D on a coordinate plane x and y axis where x is the horizontal axis and y is the vertical axis. Now we need to reflect this object on y axis that means the vertical axis and then translate three units right one down. I will do this in two different ways. First let's see how we do it geometrically. So think there is a mirror along the y axis and the object is on the right side of the mirror. So when it gets reflected, it gets an image on the left side, which will be exactly of the same size, but kind of opposite direction. Remember, each point will be same distance away from the mirror. So that is what we will apply here. So A is one unit to the right. It will be one unit to the left. So the A point will be reflected and will be seen here. We'll call this point as A dash. Similarly, point B is 1, 2, 3 units right. So for the same height, we will put it 3 units left, 1, 2, 3, and mark this point as B dash. C, which is on X axis, 1, 2, 3 units on X axis, plus 3, it will be at minus 3, 1, 2, 3, minus 3, which is C dash. Now D is 1, 2. So 2 on the right side of y-axis, it will be 2 units left of y-axis, right? So that will be d dash. Now we can join these points to form the quadrilateral after reflection on y-axis. Okay, so I'm just joining them. So we have this quadrilateral here. So A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash is the quadrilateral after reflection on Y axis. So what you note here is whenever we reflect, then let's, let me write it down here. So when you reflect, what happens? The X and Y coordinates of the object change to y remains same, the height remains same, only x value changes and becomes negative of x. Do you see that? So that is the change which happens. We had considered the object a, b, c, d. So let me write down all these objects with their original point location. a is at 1, 1, 2. 1 for x and 2 for y. For b, it is 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3, 3 and 3. For C, the coordinate points are 1, 2, 3 for X and 0 for Y. And for D, the coordinate points are 1, 2, 1, 2, 2 and minus 2. Let me write here. 2 and minus 2. So when we reflected, what really happened was X values changed to minus X, but Y remained same, right? So let me write down the reflected point here and then we'll check. So A dash will be minus of 1, which is minus 1, Y value remains same. For B, minus 3, 3. For C, minus 3, 0. And for D, minus 2 and 2. Minus 2, both minus these. Do you see that? You can check these points. Do they match? A minus 1, 2. Minus 1 and 2, correct. 1, 2, 3, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, for 3, B dash. C dash and D dash are at, C dash is at minus 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and D dash is at minus 2, minus 2. So they are absolutely correct. So that is how you do reflection on Y axis. Now the second part is translation. So when you do translation, then what happens? The object moves right but its orientation remains same in reflection the orientation changes 
in translation it will remain same but it will move now let's see what happens three units right one down so let's start with a dash and go three units right one two three and one down so we a dash will come here let me write this point as a double dash similarly b dash one two three right and one down so b dash will come here and we'll call this as b double dash that is the second transformation which we are doing c dash will be three units right one two three and one down so we get c dash as c double dash d dash will be one two three one down so that is the location for d double dash so we have now translated our object after reflection and the translation is three units right one down so when we say three units right and one down we can write as three for x and minus one for y to see three right one down okay let's join this so we so that becomes our object final location after the second transformation which was three units right and one down now we'll do using the coordinate points and check did we really get the right answer so whenever you do translation you actually add those numbers with x and y original right original means from where you started so a double dash will be you have to add three and take away minus one so when you add three to minus one what do you get you get two and when you take away one from two you get one right so the final location should be at two one for a double dash one two and one so you can check do you see that so like that you can get it from the coordinates also so this is the second method of doing it and the one with which i did first is geometrical method right so let's complete this these values for the coordinates p double dash so you add 3 to it becomes 0 minus 1 will give us 2 for c double dash when you add 3 it becomes 0 and minus 1 will give me minus 1 and d double dash will be when you add 3 you get 1 plus and minus 1 gives you minus 3 so 1 plus and minus 3 so that is how you get the coordinate points I hope you understand and appreciate the method. Try to make one figure and then reflect it in this manner. Well, you can change the translations and reflections also. I would like you to take this exercise to the next level. And that is, first you do by finding the coordinate points and then do geometrically. Right? Try it that way and see, do you get the same results? Okay, I hope you enjoy this. Thank you and all the best.